I did it. Oh, this is so funny. I was like, you know what? It's always so dark when I record myself in the evening times because I have to use the front camera. So I was like, you know what? I have a conveniently placed mirror. So how about we just, you know, just, you know? So, yeah. Um, things. Um, I don't know what the things are. Or maybe I do. Um, things that are happening are that, um, well, one, Matthew's wedding is, uh, Saturday in, like, three days. And that was fun, trying to figure that out, because despite putting in a request for the day off at Kroger back in January, when I first found out when I was supposed to be there, um, apparently, due to it being the day before Mother's Day, that means almost everyone in the world requested that day off, meaning that the requests were granted based on seniority, and I did not quite make the cut. So I've spent the majority of the past four days trying to exhaust every available resource I had to find a way to cover my shift because I was supposed to work during pretty much the prime hours I would need to be um, elsewhere. So first it started off with, you know, me texting Logan and Christine being, you know what, I'll work for you on Sunday, which was the day after I texted them since I found this out on Saturday, Friday. I found out on Friday and then was able to check the schedule for people to switch with Saturday. <sighs> I'll get this right one day. And then in the midst of texting them, I realized that I should probably have checked if they were all if they were working Saturday already in addition to seeing if they were working Sunday since Sunday was my one day off. Um, and go figure that all of the people who did not have their request granted were working because it's gonna be slammed at Kroger the day before Mother's Day because what else would I have expected? It's a freaking grocery store, meaning the floral and all of the Hallmark cards and all of the whatever else people do for Mother's Day is going to make the store ridiculously crowded. I remember last year the number of people who came through with a card and a bouquet of flowers were ridiculous. And in express lane, that means loads of people. <laughs> because that's less than 15 items. Because why did we even point that out? He, um, well, um, so yeah, there was no one I could switch with because there was no one who wasn't working already. So that made things lovely. Um, so then I talked to Joey about it. I'm like, you know, I kind of can't be here for Saturday because, so then what? We have to look into a bunch of other things. I think by the end of uh, Tuesday, by then it was, um, since I actually fell sick uh, Sunday and Monday, and um, was still sick Tuesday, and I'm still kind of sick now, but mostly due to a cough and uh, other things. Um. We were like, we came to the decision that um, the best thing for uh, covering my shift was to see if Logan could just work past the end of his scheduled shift to help cover things. 
But unfortunately, Joey did not have enough time to do this, to discuss this with Logan before going home. So she did it before today. Granted, that was yesterday. But anyway. And cue a lighting change because my com camera ran out of, you know, space because I forgot to transfer old things that I recorded. So, yeah. I don't know if I like it. But anyway. Yeah, let's just start with one. Okay. So as I was saying, um, she didn't actually get around to talking to Logan. So... That didn't end up going along. And today when I talked to her about it, um, she was like, well, that's not really actually going to work, possibly, because apparently someone else decided that they couldn't come in. So that's another shift that was, yeah. So, I spent a while discussing with her different things, trying to figure out anything, anything that, you know, could cover me for that day. Because, apparently, even if you've requested and it's, like, really important, if you don't have your request granted, and you can't get your shift covered, um, if you don't show up, you could get written up. That's the thing I learned today. That's not really a fun thing to know. So that was a lovely, cheery thought added to my day when I was trying to figure this out. And so there was that. But thankfully, um, sat there and was talking with Joey every chance I had when there was a break in customers and I was like well is there a chance that I could just work in the morning instead of the evening since my original plan was well I could close <laughs> if need be but Nathan is closing and he's busy the entire rest of the day so that's lovely I was like, well, I can try and be here if you can give me a shift. That means I'll be leaving by, say, noon. And she was like, hmm. She looked at the schedule, and I don't remember if there was actually a way of doing that specifically, but um, the next thing she suggested, she was like, well, we could try asking floral people to borrow someone. And then, of course, floral, Mother's Day. Yeah, they can't really spare anyone. So I was like, you know what? I'll work there in the morning if they can give this person to us for the time I can't, you know, be here. So, yeah. And a while later, I heard back from Joey, and she, I don't know if she ever actually talked to Tita, but, um, well, f floral department. Anyway, I don't know if she actually talked to them, but what she did say is that she was like, you know, Rebecca is coming in, she was going to close, cause, uh, you scan. And she's like, well... I'll ask Rebecca if she can come in early, and that'll cover all but maybe an hour. So that's awesome. And yeah, Rebecca can cover me. Yay! 
So after four days of, well, technically closer to uh, six days of freaking out over this and trying to figure out what to do, I'm good. Yay. And thankfully I'm not missing out on as many hours as I could have been since today a needed extra people at Kroger and people such as Corey um, were extraordinarily nice enough to um, allow me to skip the day at Muhan today in order for me to do an 8 hour shift at Kroger. Um, yeah. And 8 hours at Kroger actually is slightly better money wise for me than um, 4 and a half at Muhan for the day. So good for me too. Now I'm only 2 hours shorter on my hours for the week than I had uh, originally scheduled myself for. So yay. That's nice. Um, other such things. Um, in the middle of figuring all of this out on Tuesday, yes, yesterday, I'm like so out of touch with the days of the week. <laughs> God. It's all blending together. Um, while I was in the middle of sorting this all out and freaking out over it, um, I was on my break checking out the Facebooks because I was like, you know, mentioning the fact that, you know, I was having some issues with uh, the whole scheduling thing. I came across the fact that my sister had just, uh, Cindy had just posted a thing on Facebook saying, so guess what, Patrick and I are thinking about getting married between the Thursday, May 29th and, um, June 1st. And then she was like, tell us, like, which days are best for everyone so we can decide. I'm just like, great. Um, so yeah, after uh, some discussion, uh, Cindy and Patrick are, uh, getting married. Yay for them, by the way. I mean, like, legitimately, the things that my sister has gone through in her life, I am ridiculously happy for her, and Patrick is awesome, and... They've been talking about this for a, about a year. I actually have, like, I may actually have the part of the conversation where they first sort of kind of announced that they were interested in sort of getting married and everything in one of my first vlogs. <laughs> actually, I know exactly which one, too. This is the loveliness about me is that I have somewhat strangely photographic memory for conversation things and things that go on. So the vlogs thing kind of helps with that and it's just sort of like awesomeness all around or something. Or it's just, you know, really creepy for other people. So, you know. But, uh... I want to go to no to go to my channel. Okay. Playlists. I think it's in the last year. It's not not last year's but 2012's. It's Omnom Nom Piranha. Where's the Omnom Nom Piranha? I don't remember. Ah, uh, December of 2012, so about a year and a half. The kitty's not in the box But yeah, they, they announced that they were originally uh, decided to get married at some point on December 2nd of 2012. 
so A for them. Um, but yeah, I, I think pretty much all of us in the family are like actually very, very happy about this. So good thing. But yeah, let's just hope um, this request actually goes through as well as the one for the on the 7th that I have because I'm moving. Yeah, these next two, this basically this next month through the first week of June is just insane for work things because I was doing Muhan stuff on the 2nd. Well, I had important errands and Muhan stuff planned on the 2nd, but it ended up being just helping Nikki by watching the kids for four hours while she was at the IBM car sale. <coughs> It'd be nice if I could speak without having to drop myself with things. Um, so I ended up just spending the day doing car sale stuff and um, Mulholland stuff. So that's day requested off. I also had to request this Saturday off for Matthew's wedding, and I also had to request off some other day in the middle of May. I don't remember what for, or why, or what. Or at least, no. I was like vaguely considering the idea of requesting part of next Saturday, I believe it was. Yes, it was next Saturday because it's the 17th. I was considering briefly requesting the morning off for the uh, rib giveaway. And I was like, no, that's stupid for one, to waste that. And two, it starts at 11 in the morning. <laughs> so there's no, there's no point to that. And then I have now requested off the 31st, which is also my mother's birthday, um, for Cindy and Patrick's wedding. So, that's the thing, and then June 7th we get to move, so this is all just going to be a chaotic, to say the least. Um, so there's that update, that massive, massive update, and I feel like I'm rambling a lot, but that's what I do. And other things, um, today actually Nikki happened to throw out a brilliant job opportunity, which is the fact that Trader Joe's apparently also pays really good money for cashiers and Jeff supposedly says you know you have to be really really ridiculously good to be able to get into that job but I mean to hurt to try I mean last week I was number fifth in terms of like awesome cashiers out of the 22 stores in the nearby vicinity Um, God. I've been watching a little too much Morgan Page loves. A little too much. Just a little. Um, but seriously, like, if ever there was a person on YouTube so far that I've, like, felt like I've, I personally have identified with, Morgan Page loves that, that one. It's awesome and things. I have to think of so many things because I'm so far behind and I don't even know where I am and like updating things and vlogs and just ridiculousness and just yeah. <laughs> messaging me why but all the things it's a Jeff isn't it? Oh, it's a Jeff. Do you 
have water flavor stuffs. Yes. Right. What is this? What is this? What did I want? Why? Well, no, I don't want to watch. little water ball of pockets for Jolly Ranchers and just can come up some pictures. Still nailing it. Ish. Would be nice if I actually thought about all the things I need to talk about before I hit the record button. One day. Um I still have so much stuff that I have to do to prepare for moving and so many things I have to do to prepare for job searching and it's ridiculous but yeah. um basically right now I'm working on cleaning stuff out that I own. Most recent thing I did was I went through all my blankets that were in the shed. I had like seven blankets just in the shed and I have like three that I already had in my room. Yeah. Uh, Nikki and I are uh, full supporters of the concept of you can never have too many blankets. And yeah, but I was able to get rid of three of them, <laughs> three out of ten isn't bad, right? <sighs> but yeah, I, I got rid of three of them, which is because there, one of them was a uh, butterfly quilt design. Um, from like when I was 12 and another one was a patchwork sort of stripe interestingness with dragonflies on some of the stripes and um, that was also from middle school freshman year -ish. so uh, there's that one and then there's the one that Aeon is currently wrapped up in, 
which is the uh, black kit kitten and well, the black cat. Oh my God, the black cat and kitten pairs that are surrounded by um. They're in sort of a white cloud background, and in the in-between space is a pink leopard print. So it just screams Zayon, and when she saw it, she had to have it immediately. Even though it's a very warm blanket, and it's, you know, May in Georgia, and it's fabulously warm, which is why I had to throw both my windows open before I went to work today to air out the room, shut off my computer, <laughs> eek, um, fun things. I think I actually asked her the other day, I was like, so how do you feel when I give you these things that I'm getting rid of that I don't need anymore? And Aeon's reply was that she loved it because it's like a special home just for Aeon sale. It's word for word. It's, it's like a home just for Aeon sale my list of things to do is um, fix my job stuff, I actually get my driver's license, finally, um, clean out the rest of the things that I own that I don't need to anymore, so in time for the move, and um, save all the money I need for the move, which is, the, you know, like, Just over four hundred dollars for the first month, but if I've done the math correctly, if I can manage to keep at least you know eighteen hours a week for the rest of the month, at least. I mean, I hope to of course keep that sort of hours after this too. But if I can keep them at least for this month, I can make it between that and. Uh, Muhan paychecks. I'm not sure just how much of a dent in that that um, the uh, wedding debacle is going to make, but it'll be okay. It'll be good, right? Yeah. Um. And what else was there that I need to do? I need to go back into editing vlogs soon. When I have time, because that's, I'm behind on that. I haven't really done much of hardly anything on that since uh, before Florida. And I knew it was going to be like that, but you know, it's, it's what it is. It's what it is. So those are things. And, um,. I'm gonna go work on some of them now. Yeah. This has been a announcement of various lengths and stuff. Good night and um that thing I haven't said in forever. Au revoir. Where's the stop button? Why aren't you stopping? I'm gonna take a picture.